What's up everyone? Phil the Kaiju King back. I was going to take a quick look at these two. One of them I'm, I've had for a very long time and the other one I just recently got. These are some King Kong 2005 figures. Both made my playmates. This bigger one I've had for a while. And this probably 11 inch one I just got recently used off in uh, like eBay or Mercari, one or the other, I forget which. Pretty neat, the movie, it's uh, Peter Jackson's swan song to the original King Kong. It's very, very, holds very true to that movie. It's pretty cool that uh, he wanted to do it. Of course, he's a, his favorite movie is King Kong 1933. Pardon me. And it's pretty cool we ended up doing this movie. I like this movie. I know it's kind of long. A lot of people say it's long. It's too long, which it probably is by a little bit. But it doesn't really bother me because it's classic King Kong with the island and the dinosaurs. I mean, he really stood true to the original concept of the uh, film by Marion C. Cooper. With bringing the dinosaurs back into it and just it's really, really awesome film. We'll start off with the big one. Now, I've had him since that first King Kong 2005 came out. So I've had this thing roughly 20 years, give or take. But he's really big. He's probably like 15 inches tall, maybe. I don't know. He's supposed to have some sound and stuff. But that's probably long. I haven't even tried to use it in years and years. So I don't really care if that works or not. He is posable. You can pose him. Got some posability to him. As far as making him like a quadruped if you want. You can do some stuff with him. I like to have him standing up though. His arms posable. Up and down. And what's really cool is his hands. His fingers will clutch on both hands. Which makes it cool. If you have a little and doll you can put in his hand makes it kind of cool that makes kind of a neat little thing to have with him he's got little wee wheels on his feet too I forget what that was for but I'm just trying to get him to stand up at this point <laughs> you got to put his legs way back to make him stand up there you go but he's predominantly black in color on his legs, on his arms, on his back. Of course, over here on his chest and his belly, there's the red scars on there. Also on his back, you'll see the scars as well, which he had all kinds of scars all over his body because he was kind of an older Kong in 2005. But that's nice to add those scars. Like I said, this is a kid's toy, playmate's toy. It ain't too bad up on his head. His mouth is wide open. Eyes. Coned head, of course. Doesn't look too bad in the face. Of course, he's got the scarring up here by his right eye, which he had in the film. So they did a decent job with this, nonetheless, capturing the 2005 King Kong, I think. He's a pretty cool uh, little old figure there. All right, we'll move on to this 11-inch Bella, and let's do that now. All right, here's the 11-inch King Kong 2005, and I know there's this lever on his back here, and what it does is it it imitates him beating his chest, which that's pretty cool if you move it back and forth. That's kind of cool. I'm pretty sure he makes noises if you change the batteries, and when them, then them fists hit his chest, that makes him roar, I think, if I read right, but I ain't really worried about all that. Same deal here. He's got a nice fur and the casting from the plastic mold. Not too bad. Predominantly black, of course. He's got some scarring on his chest again and on his back, of course. Over here on his uh, right leg as well. So I don't think the bigger one had that. Yeah, it does have it. My bad. So there's red scars on, on his leg, on his midsection, on his chest. On his back, of course, very muscular looking Kong. 
older Kong though up here on his head. His, his head's kind of a rubber overcoating to the plastic. And he does have the scarring over his right eye. It's hard to see, but it is there. Not too bad. But that little feature here, that's kind of cool, I thought. The uh, beating of his chest. That's pretty neat. Nice Kong 2005. We'll do a quick comparison with these Kongs. And let's do that now. All right, this is my X Plus Godzilla 1954 30 centimeter figure alongside my two King Kongs 2005. As you can see, this Kong is at least a couple inches taller than Godzilla. So he's up there around the 15 inch range because this is one of the bigger 30 centimeter X Plus Godzillas out there, the original. Got 54 they released. All right, we'll move on to some uh, final thoughts, and let's do that now. All right, everyone, Playmates, King Kong 2005 figures, the two I have in my collection. Pretty cool figures, pretty neat. Like I said, this one I've had for a long time since the movie, and this one I just recently got. Not too bad for some, uh, like I said, they're play things for children, but they're nice collectibles to have from the movie because there's not really a lot of collectibles out there for that movie. All right, I'm close out my video. I want to thank everyone that tunes in. This is Phil. Kaiju King, y'all have a blessed day. We'll talk again soon.